All right, guys, welcome to Hanson's Speed Shop. I'm gonna just do kind of a quick little update video on the Hot Rod Project. So I got, um, this is gonna be the new intake. I just unboxed it. This is a Wyan 4.2 intake. Um, these were made in the late 50s, um, early 60s, but they, this is a super, super rare intake. Um, they made like less than 70 of these um, total ever. Um, so as to how many exist today, who knows, but awesome intake. So this is what's going to be going on the car. Um, going to just use the two Stromberg or the two um, Speedway Stromberg 97s that are on the car now. And then I'm going to get two, um, two more secondary carbs. Um, and then we're going to also be running the uh, new set of heads that you've seen um, earlier. Those still have to get um, rebuilt. Um, but I scored this intake and it's going to be sweet. It's in super nice shape. Um, so that'll be awesome. Um, as far as the car goes, um, the grill shell is all finished now. We did have to do some repair work on it um, that was hidden. There was some bad body work and, and um, some rust that had been bonded over um, once we discovered that once we got some of the old paint off um kind of mainly down like on on the chin area down in here so we had to kind of this on on the grill that's on the car like this whole piece here um we kind of had to re really redo a lot um, but that's all done mounted ready to go so the next step um is going to be i'm going to go help um start taking stuff apart and getting things ready to pull the body off that's going to be the next step so hopefully over the next month month and a half or so we'll have the thing ready um to take the body off of the chassis and then we can start swapping everything over to the new frame um so once we get more into that uh, um i'll give you guys another update um one other cool thing i could show you this is my 57 um, 392. I just kind of was mocking up with some really cool vintage speed parts that I have. This is going to be for um, a way down the line future project. But look at how sweet that is. So on that note, guys, hit the subscribe button. Go check out the channel for tons of cool other content. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to hear more updates on the Hot Rod Project, I can try to get them out. Whenever I get anything that I feel like you guys would want to know about. Um, but otherwise, until next time, guys, get out work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching. But wait, there's more. So just before I get, like, comments from people like, Oh, my God, you're crazy. You're going to put four carburetors on. That's too much. First of all, number one. Hemi's like a lot of fuel and the setup that's on the car currently which is two 297s is really strangling that engine to death um one one of the super 97 carbs flows roughly 200 cfm give or take so a 354 cubic inch engine really would be happy with like say 750 cfm so with four 97s, it's basically going to come out to about 800 CFMs, which will be perfect for that engine. I mean, by comparison, this engine, um, which is going to, when it does get built, is going to be a pretty radical solid roller cam, like fully built, probably like 550 horsepower. So six Strombergs is really going to be, you know, not that big of a deal, but, um, People always think with these old engines, like, oh, you're over carburating it or whatever. But really, these these old, um, these are Holly, Holly 94s, but basically kind of the same as a Stromberg. They don't flow a lot, so that's why people put a lot of them on an engine um, to get the same performance and the radical look. So that's that. So, no, we are not over carburating the engine. If anything, it's going to be right on the money. So, I just want to clear that up before I get a bunch of comments on, on that. All right, guys, take care.